Hey, it's Dan from Coach Call's Time Out. Let's take a look at how LaMelo Ball runs the fast break and makes winning plays. Ball does a lot of good things in transition that all point guards can learn from. Let's get to it. All the great pass first point guards understand that the basketball is the fastest player on the court. Dribbling slows you down. Steve Nash was one of the best at this, and LaMelo is really good too. He knows head manning the ball puts extra pressure on the defense, and it rewards his teammates for their hustle. That makes them more willing to keep running. Look at this one, a simple pass down the lane gets ahead of all five, count them, five Laker defenders. Since his teammates know they'll get the ball if they run the lane, they get easy buckets like this off turnovers. I love how LaMelo looks ahead right away. No wasted dribbles, his eyes go up the court first. And oftentimes, just the simple act of passing ahead can create a mismatch on the perimeter. Anthony Davis is the closest defender and he's forced to step out and guard Terry Rozier. Even after giving up a ridiculous dunk from Jared Allen, Lamella's looking ahead to squash any momentum the Cavs can build. Lamello does a fantastic job with pass timing. He gives the ball up early, hitting his teammates in stride and giving them time to make a play and keep their forward momentum. This early pass gives Rozier multiple choices. He could drive to the hoop or use the space he has to pull up for three. In today's NBA, you know it's coming. Lamelo's early pass to Oubre here gives the Hornets a scoring chance that they wouldn't have had if he kept his dribble and ran up the middle. Portland has enough players back, but the early pass forced them to match up quicker than they wanted to. Oubre has a couple of options here. Shoot the three, and he could even dump it off to the open man. It wouldn't matter what era Oubre's playing in, he's gonna shoot that. If the advantages aren't there quickly, Lamelo's patient enough to wait for the defense to decide for him. He's great at quickly recognizing the mini three on two or two on one advantages. He simply waits for the defense to go one way and then passes or dribbles the other way. The game doesn't have to be so hard. Here he's going downhill on Looney and has an advantage on the perimeter. If Lamelo gets by Looney, then it's a three on two. And he waits for Draymond to help, dumps it off to the open man. On this break, there's four Warriors back and four Hornets running. But the Warriors didn't match up well, so there's a mini two on one here. Lamelo waits for the defender to make a decision and goes to the open man. Sometimes all it takes is to dribble at someone to make them guard you. Lamelo sees who's matched up, has patience, waits for the defense to decide or not decide in Hero's case, and finds the open player. What do you like about LaMelo Ball's game? Leave a comment, we'll keep the conversation going. Click here to learn from Trey Young and how he attacks ball screens. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you at the next Coach Calls Timeout video.